Brands know they need to come up with, make, and use strong and effective brand stories. Strong brand stories are one of the most powerful ways to market a brand because they help companies connect with their customers on an emotional, human level. Brand storytelling lets companies tell a story about their products and services, which helps customers understand them better and stay loyal to the brand. People want to feel something when they watch a movie or read a book. People watch movies and seasons of TV shows back to back because it makes them feel like they know the characters. Some brands are very good at it. Consistently. Here are some examples of brands that use a compelling brand story to tell great, real stories. Yara International is a chemical and fertilizer company based in Norway that does business in more than 70 countries. Since its founding in 1905, Yara has become one of the world's leading providers of fertilizers, crop nutrition, and solutions for protecting the environment. Yara cares about the environment and wants to make sure that its products are made in a way that doesn't hurt it. The company also works hard to improve food security around the world and give farmers around the world more ways to make money. In this situation, they started a campaign called Growers for the Future. The focus of this campaign is on a hard fact that growers have to deal with now, succession. Stories of Succession was made as part of the Growers for the Future brand. It was a creative idea meant to show Yara's understanding of and support for farmers in an emotional way that no other brand had done before. This idea brought out both the worries and fears of farmers around the world, as well as their hopes and dreams. Adding a rational layer to support the emotional level would give farmers important information and could help them be more profitable, efficient, and sustainable, which are all important to Yara. This made it possible for real farmers and growers to talk about this theme in a series of videos and other pieces of content. Kamek is a Canadian company that makes outdoor shoes that are made to last and are of good quality. They make winter boots, rain boots, sandals, shoes, and other types of footwear that are made to keep feet warm and dry in any situation. Kamek is also committed to protecting the environment by using materials and methods that are good for the planet. Their designs show how much they love the outdoors, which makes them a trusted brand for people who love the outdoors. When Kamek asked Toast to make a content marketing plan for the brand, our biggest challenge was to find a common theme that would tie together all the content assets that would be made. Through this process, the hashtag Free Your Play campaign was made to show how important it is for kids to be able to play freely. Throughout the campaign and with the help of academic research, we tell a compelling story about how important it is to let kids play freely so that they can build and strengthen their imaginations and sense of independence. Apple is a well-known and respected brand all over the world. And their marketing strategy uses the same brand story everywhere in the world. Apple has been building on the same foundations it set up decades ago, think different. In the first example below, here's to the crazy ones, Steve Jobs narrates the first Think Different ad for Apple. It was never shown. The voiceover for the first spot that was shown was done by Richard Dreyfuss. What did he want Apple to say? The people who change the world are the ones who are crazy enough to think they can. Apple still wants its products and services to help people with this kind of attitude. More recently, they started the Apple at Work campaign. One of the fiction videos in that campaign is very similar to the main message that was made decades ago. Since the 1970s, Patagonia's founder, Levon Chouinard, has said the same thing. If you can build a company based on truth and honesty, your customers will look to you to do what's right. Patagonia is an outdoor clothing brand that focuses on making durable, high-quality products that are good for the environment and inspire their customers to do the same. Patagonia's culture is built around making long-lasting, high-quality products that inspire customers to do good things for the environment. They try to be honest and clear in what they say, and they believe that doing the right thing builds customer loyalty. Patagonia cares deeply about protecting the environment and does everything it can to leave less of an impact on the environment. This means that one message they keep sending is, don't buy our products. This might come as a surprise, but Patagonia has told us for as long as we can remember that a product they sell should be used until it can no longer be used or fixed. In Patagonia's history, there are many examples of this brand story arc, 
but the one below shows it in a striking way. Basically, they tell the story of a small town where people don't buy new Patagonia coats when their kids grow out of them. Instead, they pass them down to the next generation. As for Volvo, they have a great piece that tells the stories of people whose lives were saved by the three-point seatbelt that the company invented. It doesn't say anything about their newest models. It doesn't say anything about the service your Volvo can get. It tells a story about road safety, which is what the brand has always stood for. There are so many great stories that show how a brand can tell a good story. One of them is Aramund. In their host stories series, they tell great stories about how Aram changed a host's life. This is exactly what we teach and recommend when we talk about brand storytelling. It's not about you, the brand. It's about how your brand helped your stakeholder, customer, partner, etc. solve their problem. Your brand is a map with directions. This is actually a textbook from the story brand model. In their case, the stories are told not through videos, but through well-written articles. And I think that's why these stories are so good. They're easy to pass around and eat. This is a story of success, which is one of the six types of stories we talk about in our video, six types of stories for powerful brand storytelling. Types of stories that, like what StoryBrand recommends, focus on the reader and how they can relate to the main character instead of the brand and how good their product or service is.